hello everyone welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to solve another interesting integral uh, integral e to the uh, minus uh, 2 by 2 matrix uh, 0 1 1 0 times x square dx well uh, how to begin okay uh, first uh, here we have 2 by 2 matrix so uh, if we take uh, a diagonal matrix a we know a is equal to uh, p d p inverse then we know uh, if we take a to the n power is equal to p times d to the n p inverse uh, then i am going to take the uh, power series representation of uh, e to the x we know e to the x is equal to sum uh, from 0 to infinity x to the n over n factorial then uh, instead of x uh, we can plug in a a we know uh, 2 by 2 matrix so e to e to the matrix is equal to uh, sum of 0 to infinity now x we know a so a to the n over n factorial okay then we know uh, here a to the n is equal to p d to the n p inverse so we can plug in um, e to the a is equal to sum n is equal 0 to infinity now instead of a to the n we have p d to the n p inverse over n factorial well uh, now we can uh, simplify this uh, like here we have uh, e to the a e to the a is equal to p uh, this p i'm going to write uh, outside of the sigma notation uh, then parenthesis sum of n is equal 0 to infinity d to the n over n factorial times p inverse then if we take d diagonal matrix uh, here a 0 0 b then we know d to the n is equal to a to the n 0 0 b to the n so instead of uh, d to the n we can plug in uh, this matrix so we can write here uh, p uh, then parenthesis uh, here sum of uh, sum of 0 to infinity 1 over n factorial and d to the n we have a matrix a to the n 0 0 b to the n parenthesis here p inverse okay then uh, we know here uh, so we can simplify here p then here matrix now uh, here 1 over n factorial times a to the n so we have uh, sum of 0 to infinity a to the n over n factorial here 0 here also 0 uh, then here again sum of 0 to infinity b to the n over n factorial uh, times here p inverse well uh, then we know this is uh, power series representation so we can write now this is equal to p times uh, matrix e to the a 0 0 e to the b times p inverse okay now uh, we define uh, e to the matrix we have p times e to the a 0 0 e to the b times p inverse here we have uh, e to the uh, this matrix so i'm going to take uh, now a is equal uh, this matrix so we have a is equal to uh, matrix 0 1 1 0 uh, then I am going to find the eigenvalue. So we have uh, lambda i minus a is equal to 0. Then uh, lambda minus 1 minus 1 uh, lambda is equal to 0. So if we simplify, we have lambda square minus minus minus. So minus 1 is equal to 0. Uh, then we know we have difference of two squares so lambda minus one lambda plus one is equal to zero lambda is equal to one or lambda is equal minus one 
well uh, then uh, we can uh, find the eigenvectors so when lambda is equal to 1 uh, we have uh, null space of null space of here lambda 1 uh, so we have 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 uh, so we can simplify we know this is equal to uh, null space of 1 minus 1 if we take some here 0 0 so we can write now uh, matrix uh, 1 minus 1 0 0 uh, vector x y is equal to uh, 0 0 uh, so we have uh, x minus y x minus y is equal to 0 so x is equal to y uh, then uh, we can write uh, here uh, span of span of 1 1 span of 1 1 well uh, then when uh, lambda is equal to minus 1 when lambda is equal to minus 1 uh, we have uh, null space of minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so uh, we know this is also equal to minus 1 minus 1 uh, here 0 0 then we can write uh, minus 1 minus 1 0 0 times uh, vector x y is equal to 0 0 uh, then we have minus x minus y is equal to 0 so we have uh, span of 1 minus 1 okay now uh, we can write matrix of uh, corresponding vectors uh, here 1 1 here 1 minus 1 so we know p is equal to p is equal to 1 1 uh, here 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 uh, also d we can write uh, matrix we know eigenvalues 1 and minus 1 so 1 0 0 minus 1 well uh, then uh, we define the uh, e to the a we have the formula uh, we know uh, e to the a is equal to e to the a is equal to here uh, we have uh, p so uh, p we know now 1 1 1 minus 1 and uh, d uh, here we have uh, e to the a and b a b we know uh, diagonal values so e to the 1 0 here 0 here e to the minus 1 and uh, then uh, here we have p inverse so uh, we have here p so we know uh, p inverse um, minus one half minus one half and here uh, minus one minus one minus one one okay then um, here we have one half so uh, one half times one 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 minus one and here uh, e zero zero e to the minus one then we can uh, multiply with uh, minus sign so we have 1 1 1 uh, minus 1 okay then uh, if we simplify this uh, we have uh, 1 half here uh, e plus e to the minus 1 here e minus e to the minus 1 e minus again e to the minus 1 e plus e to the minus 1 okay here uh, we have e to the a uh, now in our integral we have e to the minus a times here uh, we know this is a e to the minus a x square so i am going to take e to the minus a x square so e to the minus a x square is equal to one half uh, times now here we have uh, e to the minus x square plus e to the x square and here e to the minus x square minus e to the x square and here uh, e to the minus x square minus e to the x square and here e to the minus x square plus e to the x square 
okay now uh, we have to integrate e to the minus a x square d x so uh, here a we know uh, our matrix so we can write now this is equal to uh, one half uh, sorry yes uh, one half matrix now here integral e to the minus x square plus e to the x square uh, dx and here integral uh, e to the minus x square minus e to the x square dx and here integral uh, e to the minus x square minus e to the x square dx and here integral e to the minus x square plus e to the x square dx and now uh, we should integrate uh, so here we have uh, e to the x square here e to the minus x square also always uh, we have uh, area e to the x square and e to the minus x square so we know uh, e to the minus x square uh, e to the minus x square dx is equal to using error function we know the square root of pi over 2 uh, erf of x uh, plus c also uh, in a previous video i evaluated this integral e to the x square dx and uh, we have the answer square root of pi over 2 imaginary error function erf y of x plus c i will add the uh, link of uh, this integral uh, in the description so now we can write here uh, one half matrix uh, now e to the minus x square uh, here e to the minus x square so we have this part also here e to the x square so uh, this part so we should take the sum of uh, this part so we know square root of phi over 2 is a common factor so the square root of phi over 2 uh, here erf of x plus imaginary error function of x uh, then uh, here also we have square root of phi over 2 and here uh, erf of x minus erf i of x and then uh, here again square root of phi over 2 erf sorry erf of x minus erf i of x and then here square root of phi over 2 uh, erf of x plus erf i of x okay if you need uh, you can take again square root of phi over 2 uh, outside the matrix however uh, this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching